Just had a, a bit of news from Cisco today uh, coming out with their first line of AI focused servers, AI focused pies. Just want to get your take on the news. Uh, yeah, so I mean, Cisco has been investing behind AI infrastructure here uh, for quite some time. And, and really for us, what, what we see as benefiting Cisco is really around their Silicon One portfolio uh, that they've been talking about for some time. And, and we see that as probably the biggest driver here overall. Um, you know, obviously a lot of the uh, infrastructure players, including Cisco, have been announcing more and more systems, more and more integrations like what you just talked about. Uh, and you're going to have to have an ecosystem type of play longer term. So it uh, makes a lot of sense in terms of uh, where we are in the AI infrastructure roadmap. Uh, we're going to be talking a lot about the hyperscalers this week, mega cap tech. Um, that's one way to play this whole AI trend. The other is the so-called picks and shovels play. That seems like what Cisco is trying to do. When we're looking at other stocks that kind of fit that bill of quote unquote picks and shovels, what are the other best picks in this space? Yeah, so it won't come as too big of a surprise here, Frank, that we're going to talk about really uh, Cisco's rival. Right, and that's Arista. Arista has really done well in cloud infrastructure for quite some time, having great relationships with Microsoft and Meta, where um, that's that's almost uh, 40, 50 percent of their business is, is those two customers combined. The last few years, also a growing relationship with a customer like Oracle, and really with Arista. Right, you had initial use cases back in its early days with high frequency trading systems at large financial institutions before the cloud titans really became big. And, and so really we view Arista as having the best ethernet switching portfolio for high end switching. It's got about 35, 40% market share on that high end mm -hmm. uh, market versus only total switching share in the mid teens. So they're, they're really good at sort of speed performance. And this debate around ethernet versus InfiniBand that you've been seeing with the NVIDIA portfolio, whether you want to talk about the Spectrum line or the InfiniBand line, is going to remain debated from here. And, and okay. we do see Ethernet as better positioned, given the greater openness of Ethernet, uh, higher James, bandwidth. Let me just jump available. in for a second. I want to ask yeah, you about another, another stock in your coverage area. That's F5 coming off earnings yesterday. Uh, we were just showing the board a second ago, up double digits right now following earnings. Give us a sense. When we're talking about networking, we're talking about some of these infrastructure stocks. Where does that rank in your mind? Yeah, so this one has had quite the run the last couple of uh, quarters here. And really, when you think about F5, it is more of an enterprise play. Uh, just about 70% of its business comes from enterprise. So as we start to think about inferencing uh, what their CEO talks about in terms of AI factories coming online, that's where they're going to see the benefit. Uh, and they're going to see it across their hardware and software portfolio. Uh, but in terms of the impact here, we, we see switching as, as kind of having the bigger impact, um, over, especially when you want to talk okay. about the exposure to cloud and AI titans. Let's talk about AI infrastructure software. Obviously, that's the other part of this story. I'm going to hit on some of the names in your coverage universe. Uh, Digital Ocean, we've been lucky enough to have that company on. Uh, Fastly, Akamai. Is there a top pick in that space for you right now that you see? You, you talked a lot about the enterprise. That really seems to be where this AI infrastructure push is going. Is there a top pick when it comes to software for infrastructure and especially focus on the enterprise? Yeah, so obviously we've seen a big run in some of these names like an Arista, for example. And so we're actually trying to play the next derivative rather than networking our stores directly. And so our top pick has been actually Nutanix, where it's more of an enterprise play. We went through a major subscription transition and its core is about hyperconverged infrastructure. And you talk about the opportunities around VMware, the Cisco partnership, and, and now Dell partnerships. And, and you look at the AI side, they actually have a product called GPT in a box. Their software actually gets naturally loaded onto essentially a Gen AI server, and you're going to need that type of software in order to manage your AI enterprise data center over time. So uh, we think it's kind of a sneaky way to play it.